Right, so it is now a few days later and I did not really do much else with the desk and the bookshelf so I'll just show you where it's at now. It's my husband's remote control for his helicopter. He did put the modem back there because <laughs> he said it needs to be elevated so that's fine. It still looks neat and tidy. I just feel like there's a little gap here. So I'm just going to take this Kmart faux pineapple kind of cactusy plant thing and put that there and it's just, I don't know if you can see that, it's just, oh my god it's so dusty and it's got like hair all over. I need to give it a little, little dust. So quick cleaning to get a toothbrush. That isn't obviously one that you're going to use your brush your teeth afterwards. And use that to dust any little crevices. This is quite pokey too, so I don't really want to put my fingers in there. Even though it's a faux, like a fake cactus, it's still kind of pokey. It's been sitting on my windowsill in the kitchen. I don't really dust the stuff in my kitchen that often, which is a bit bad, but that is better. Yeah, I just want to keep it really minimal. What do you think Ernie? Are you proud of me? My husband used his laptop so he's pulled everything out but yeah that is generally generally how it should look. Even though I'm the sort of person who prefers all my items to be sort of shut away in a cupboard where I can't see them my husband is one of those out of sight out of mind people so he needs to see his stuff so that is why I've got still holding the toothbrush his laptop and his remote control there um, it's got a place that's its home and he can find it because I find generally even when I try and shut stuff away of his into a cupboard he never puts it back there he always leaves it out so I just feel a storage solution that works for both him and it stays neat is going to satisfy both of us so I feel like it's a good compromise so my prized possessions I don't have very many printed books so these are some of the rare few that I keep and they're all really good books of course now this disaster here, I want to keep that movie box because I'm going to help a friend declutter and I actually want to keep that in case she needs to pack some stuff away. Like from her kitchen, we're going to do her kitchen and she might want to like pack some stuff away and decide whether or not she wants to keep some stuff. Like if she doesn't use it within a few months, it's been in that box for a few months and she can get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to keep and I'm going to empty that box at some stage. That I need to put in the cupboard, that I need to put in the cupboard, that's a donation box, that I need to put back in the cupboard, that I need to put in the wardrobe and I need to sort some of this stuff out. So I'm at least going to get this corner cleared out and then everything a bit neater. And have you been messing up my cushions? It was dad wasn't it? Dad always messes up my cushions. That's all hubby stuff there that he needs to go through at some stage. But I'm tempted to go through it for him and then just tell him what can probably be decluttered. Otherwise it will never get done. Yeah, that is also hubby's. Yeah, that is also hubby's. And that is Ernie's chair, which he's claimed. It was my chair, but it's now Ernie's chair. And he's absolutely clawed it to bits, haven't you, mate?
All right, so I did actually end up going through the whole box and emptied it out because I'm going to break it down so we can use it later. Underneath the box is stuff that needs to go back to another room. In here is a whole lot of like cables and computer stuff that can be recycled. So I'm going to take that to Officeworks, which is a big stationery store here in Australia. That's my rubbish bag. This is stuff I'm going to check with husband if we need to keep these. There's a couple of things that belong to our IKEA Kalax unit thing, which I don't really feel that we need. But yeah, I don't know. I might advertise them for free on Facebook and see if anyone wants them. That we probably don't need because we use Norton now. I want to check with my husband if we need to keep these. And I have no idea. I have no idea what these things are for, so I need to check. And that's half of a thing to keep our blind cords wound up. I want to keep that in case I find the other half. This I'll probably sell because I bought it from Kiki K. I just don't really use it. These pencils and pencil sharpeners I want to take back to Kmart because I haven't been using them. So I should take them back get a refund. This laminator, my husband wants to keep it, but he doesn't even use it once a year so that's going but these are from bunnings i think i'm not sure about these but i'm going to take them to bunnings and get them to scan them and then even though i don't have a receipt if it's something that bunnings sell they will give me a credit note for it soft plastics harder plastics for recycling cardboard and here's some extension cords and power boxes and things that are superfluous so we don't really need them maybe i'll keep one i'm thinking maybe i'll sell them or give them away like some dvds blank dvds that have never been used so i'll probably give those away on the freebie site that's another cable don't know what that belongs to so that can go in the bag to get recycled at office works hooray i am all done i am so pleased that this room now looks spacious it's not perfect because there's still stuff of hubby's that needs to be decluttered and i'm no interior decorator but the great thing is it is neat it is practical it is functional it's so much more simplified than it was before and I just feel like I can work in here now and film in here and not feel like crammed in with all the clutter that was around. So let me show you what it all looks like. Again, there's the desk. And I've got a box because I am a shorty, so <laughs> I have to lift my seat up high and then I've, my feet don't reach the floor. So I've just got that old box that had my husband's speakers in it. I use that as my footrest. And over here we've got the ladder bookshelf which is looking great mainly for a bit of functional storage and a bit of aesthetic quality but I guess in terms of the storage it's something that also works for my husband because he has his laptop down here and if I just put stuff in a cupboard he is never going to put it back my cupboard's falling apart need to get that fixed <laughs> Sorry about the light in here. It gets very sunny in the afternoon. I've just got a spare kitchen chair here because my daughter is using an IKEA junior chair. So there's not enough room for all four of the adult chairs at the table. Plus I also use this as a tripod. Sometimes I put a jar of Vegemite on here and stack some books and use that as my tripod for sit down videos because I sit in front of the couch in here. Got a heater in here, the shredder, Ernie's chair and the sofa bed. Probably you'll recognize this because this is where I film a lot of my sit down videos. Hubby stuff there, another box of hubby stuff in the corner and he's got a whole lot of stuff in the cupboard that needs to be going through. Look at all the floor space. So there you go. Also, I've got this box of cables down here because that's the laptop charger for my husband's laptop and um, the internet cable that he sometimes uses for something. And again, if I don't put it somewhere he can see it, he will just dump it on the floor or on my desk, which is what I don't want. So at least at floor level, I don't really see it and it doesn't bother me there. So I basically moved all of the discluttered stuff out of here and I've got 
boxes lined up in the hallway of things to donate and to take to recycling, like to office works and stuff, my bag of stuff to take back to Kmart. So that's what I do whenever I declutter. I line things up in my hallway and then as quickly as possible next time I'm going to those places, which will be during this week, I make an effort to make sure that I get the stuff out of my home that week so it's not laying around, then I just clear it out. So I'm really 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 happy with that and hubby said i can get rid of the laminator yay i said to him look if, if we really need to know we can buy one later but i really don't think we're gonna miss it so guys that is my dan life decluttering and a bit of the behind the scenes of how i declutter and get organized and some of the challenges i face as a minimalist who lives with a non-minimalist and it is kind of, I wouldn't say a never ending battle, but you do need to keep on top of it. And so you see that big moving box full of stuff that I have that is actually from my junk room declutter video. This was my junk room. And I use the packing party method. So I put the stuff in a box and left it. I didn't intend to leave it for six months. In fact, it was probably more like seven or eight months, but I did. But what you do is you put the stuff that you're not sure about in a box. And then after a smaller amount of time than where I left it, you open up the box and if you haven't used anything in there then you need to ask yourself the hard questions of am I really going to use this and pretty much most of the stuff yeah apart from a couple small items uh, I'm decluttering so um, the minimalist packing party method is really good I think it's especially good if you're moving house but um, I'll link that video anyway where I decluttered my junk room I'll link that above just in case you want to see it if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and of course remember to subscribe by clicking on my face below and I will see you in my next one. Bye!